in national headlines. An asteroid is heading to Earth's way and could hit the moon, and the world's top scientists are working on a plan to potentially blow it off course. As national correspondent Matt Galker reports, sounds like the plot of a movie, but NASA is running through those scenarios right now. It might not be a big chance, but there's still a chance an asteroid could hit the moon in 2032. NASA has the probability at around 4% right now that asteroid YR4 has a lunar impact. It's an asteroid, sir. How big are we talking? It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. This one isn't the size of Texas, but if you immediately thought about the movies where they go into space to try and blow up the flying rock and save the world, you're not far off. A recent paper compiled by researchers, including NASA scientists, explored the possibilities of potentially using a nuclear explosion to move the asteroid out of the way or blow it up if it becomes a real threat. YR4 was dubbed a city killer when there was a small chance it could hit Earth, but that's almost been entirely ruled out. I think that we are concerned because it, it is our responsibility to keep track of these objects and to understand what's going to happen. Christina Thomas is an associate professor of astronomy and planetary science at Northern Arizona University. She's also a part of NASA's DART, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test Team, a group that sits on the front lines of planetary defense. She says there's not much to worry about if this asteroid does end up hitting the moon. It could even create a cool looking meteor shower. But YR4 could provide the most intense test yet for how Earth might respond to an asteroid that was on track to hit the planet. If you know about something far enough in advance, so years, potentially even decades, you just need to give it a very small nudge, relatively speaking, to make a really big change over a period of time. And so if you're able to do that, then that object would miss the Earth entirely. The asteroid is out of view right now, but scientists should be able to see it again in February with the James Webb Telescope. Depending on what they see, the odds of hitting the moon could go down, or they could increase dramatically. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelka.